So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a reviewer and approval workflow here in this Airtable interface. And I'm going to show exactly how I would do that. So one thing I want to keep in mind is like not everybody who's a reviewer or approver may be Airtable like on the core team. So they should really only see like what they absolutely need to be able to see. So because of that, I'm going to create a specific interface for them to go to. Uh, where it has these built-in permissions. And if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS. I help build these systems for creative departments all over the all over the world, literally. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to jump into it, but if you do need help creating this on your own, check out the link in the description and request to book a time with me or somebody on my team. Uh, I would love to work with you. So let's jump into it, into Airtable, and see what we are working with. So... This is maybe video eight in a series where I've been giving away the space, but basically showing starting with Airtable AI co-builder and creating this into a, like a creative production workflow. That's the end goal with this. This is specifically to review and approve assets. So let's jump into it. What we have here is we have a way where people can get assigned to tasks and they can should then be able to go in and submit their work. So I think what I need in here is a way where in an ideal world, it's going to be one interface where any of these people can go, whether it's a creative director, a project manager, or a designer. So a few things that I'm missing here in this overview, let's actually just call this all tasks. A few things that I'm missing here in this overview is each one of these gets a DRI, which in this case, they're all designers. But I call it DRI because in the future, I'm going to have more than just designers, maybe also other things. Uh, but that's the DRI. I have a DRI description, due date. I'm going to make, you can't do conditional editing in a list or grid. So I'm going to take edit line, edit records in line off. So things that I really care about are the DRI, the status, the due date. No, for status in here, I don't care as much about the description. I do care about the priority and I do care about the attachments. So let's see, what do I need to do? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch from tab, those things to tabs. And I'm going to say my work. So in my work, what I want to have show up is anything. I'm probably going to have to go on the tasks table side of things and look up an email and also look up the reviewer. In the last video, we were doing like a bunch of workload chart things. In the pre video before that, we were doing like SLAs, knowing how many days things from start to finish are. Right here, I'm going to look up the email of some of these people. So in this, let's pretend the person reviewing is always gonna be the creative director. It's probably not the case, but just to test it out and see if it can work. Let's do that. And then all of these are linked back to a project. So I want to give like other people permission. So as I'm doing this, I'm just gonna look up some more email fields here. All right, so now I have all my email fields I could ever dream of. So let's go to my work. My work means either as the DRI I'm the current user. So if it's, if I'm the DRI and the status is any of those, it's at the balls in my court. Or if as the reviewer, so email from reviewer is the current user. and status is in review, then it's also my work. 
And I will then say, or we'll add a few conditions here. Or I also want to see things if as the, so as the PM, so actually let's just say status. This isn't necessarily gonna be anything that's to do with the PM specifically, but they should be able to see everything that their designers are working on. So let's go with email from PM from projects is current user. That's also gonna show up in my work. So let's go over to team and try putting myself in as one of these people. What shows up for me now? Sweet, so I have one thing do. If I open this up, I see description, due date, priority, status, attachments. So as a designer, what should I be able to do? First of all, let's just add a little group down here that's gonna be access and permissions. So up here, I want to show the DRI. I also want to show the reviewer. It's up to you if you wanna make those editable or not, but in this access and permissions, let's show email from DRI reviewer. Let's just show all these just to make things e easier on us. Any field you want to make use for conditional visibility needs to be shown on this detail page. So what I want to do now is add some buttons. So for this re review and approval process, I want to say this button shows if status is to do and the email from the DRI is my email. Then I can say update the record to submit it for review. So update the status to review. Well, actually, let's see. So let's change this to be is any of, it could either be in to do or in progress. Let's make it color before green, color after gray. Another button we're going to say in progress. This one is also going to update the record, making the status in progress. And we want to show this one similarly where the status is to do. Email from DRI is the current user's email. Okay, so as the DRI, this is everything that I should get, except maybe status is read only. Okay, so this is what shows up If the DRI is my email, everything there is editable. So let's see if I can make this a little show background color. Just to keep things straight for the video and set that. This is going to be your reviewer group show background color. As the reviewer, I need to be able to see the attachments, but not edit them. This whole group should only be available if I am the email from reviewer is current user's email. Um, let's see. And then we'll get, we'll let them edit the description in case they want to 
add any more specific comments not specifically related to an asset? Let's see. So if I upload an asset, I can click into the asset, I can leave comments there. As the reviewer, I can also leave comments on it. The only thing as a reviewer that I'm missing still is request changes. Uh, I think when I publish this, it's actually going to be a little bit annoying for the one person to say in progress because it's right there. If I switch myself out as the reviewer, let's just for now make it to where this person could edit these things so I can do it. Usually what I would do is add one button there and then one button on the group. That way they're both visible. So if I want this one to be approved, I would say update that record to be status is complete before let's say it's green after it's gray so before state is approved after state is approved this button is only going to show up in this group if you're already listed as the reviewer so i think that works well this attachment field is view only so they can't like delete the attachment so let's try this out. The only thing I would maybe say is let's just add that button. Unfortunately, I have to add it again to say in progress because nobody can edit that status directly is why I have to do this because I don't want to be able to have the DRI say it's approved or the reviewer say it's like submitted. So in progress, blue, Gray, I think that looks good. Let's try this out. So as the DRI, I can see everything in here. I can edit things. I can say, this is now in progress. Submit this for review now. Let's switch out Avery Johnson to be both things here. Uh, well, now I can't edit that. So this is now, I myself in there as the reviewer you can see email from a reviewer here now i could come in here i could add comments and i could say like i could tag somebody right here so at charlie this looks great and i could even tag a specific spot and i could say that needs background so I'm not going to tag him, but I'm just going to leave a comment there and also leave a comment there. So I've added comments on that. They can now review it in the description here. Now I could leave any other comments and I could now request changes. Now, if I go to all work, I should only be able to see my stuff from this page too. So either as the DRI reviewer or as the PM. So to add permissions at the page level, Click up here in the white space, say filter. We're going to use the three email fields. So that was DRI, that one's reviewer, and that one is assigned PM. So current user's email, current user's email, current user's email, switch list to or, and now I can see the right things. So the one thing I feel like I'm missing here is I would want to see the reviewer thing right here. That's why I'm tagged in the system as Avery Johnson. I can see these three things in total, but if I go over here, let's see, nothing is ready for me yet. Unless I tag myself there. Yeah, so because this one is now in progress, that's how that works. If you want to set up any notifications in here, what I would suggest doing is come in here. You can see they have some like templates in here. So send a Slack message or send an email. If you want to have specific notifications when something is ready for approval or not, you could do that there.
but that's how you set up kind of this reviewer and approval workflow in Airtable with conditional editing, with commenting, status change, buttons for status changes only allow people to move things to specific statuses. I think I'm actually just going to probably delete some of these other things right here. So delete tasks, gallery. For now, I'm going to delete the timeline. For now, I'm going to delete the Kanban because what I like doing is on all tasks, I set up a bunch of permissions for this. So I'm just going to duplicate all tasks and say, this is now a Kanban because I had all these page level permissions. Let's enable a Kanban, disable list. The only downside is I'm not making things editable in here. You have to be able to like click into it and then perform your work. So it's not like a Trello Kanban because I'm not allowing you to click and drag. You still have to click, oh, and I did it by the wrong thing. When I create this Kanban, I want to say stacking field is status instead of priority. So I could go over and see all tasks. Here's everything that's assigned to me. But yeah, I think that's about it. So my work in here, I can click on this one and I can say submit for review. On this one, I can now say either approve or request changes, so approve. Now I have nothing to do, but I can go over and see all tasks and see anything that's like I've ever done. So that's how you create this reviewer and approval cycle in the same interface. I like creating things in the same interface because it enables commenting to work really seamlessly between the different collaborators. I don't like as much, like if you noticed in the first video of this series where it created something from the AI co-builder, created unique interfaces for each. I used to do a lot of that, creating unique interfaces, but now I don't do nearly as much of that. I create multi, multi-persona interface pages that work for multiple different types of people here in Airtable. So hopefully this was valuable. This is how you do request approval and, and review workflows in Airtable. If you want to keep following this series and you want a copy of this base, say check out the next video I'll have it pinned in the comment. Uh, I'm going to keep on building through this and build some more features into this creative production workflow, but check out the video here in the end screen to go check out that.